Every footballer's worst nightmare is getting injured, or getting wrinkles if you're Gavin Harris, but injuries are just part and parcel of a physical game that can really take its toll on your body. Whether it's a vicious tackle or a total fluke, no player wants to spend time in the treatment room. Horrific injuries such as leg breaks or torn ligaments can see a player never get back to their best, but let's take a look at six players who managed to bounce back from horror injuries. First up we've got Henrik Larsson. If you do ask a footballer which injury they most feared, a broken leg would be most likely top of the list. Many players never quite recover after a serious fracture to the most crucial part of the body, and a bad compound fracture can leave little choice but early retirement. Salix Henrik Larsson was 28 years old when a bad challenge from Serge Blanc broke his leg in two places during an important UEFA Cup tie away to Lyon. He was reaching the peak of his career, and many players would struggle to rediscover their form after such an enormous setback. Not only did Larsson recover, but after a lengthy layoff, he won the European Golden Boot, scoring 35 goals in 38 games at Celtic as they won the domestic treble. The rampaging Swede would even go on to clean the injury made him a better player, but surely he would have scored even more goals had his leg not been snapped in two. Up next we've got Neymar. We've seen the most expensive player in the world be guilty of play acting before, rolling around on the floor after minimal contact, but he too has also suffered a horrific injury. When it comes to horror injuries, Anything affecting the spine should strike fear into the hearts of spectators. Partway through Brazil's quarter-final clash with Colombia at the 2014 World Cup, an awkward clash with Colombia's Juan Camilo Zuniga saw Neymar go down in agony. According to later reports, he told his teammate Marcelo, who was the first to run to his assistance, that he couldn't feel his legs. Had the injury been a few inches lower, there's a strong chance Neymar's career might have ended that night in July. But thankfully, the injury proved to be not as severe as first thought. Remarkably, the young Brazilian was back training within a few months and went on to enjoy arguably his greatest season in a Barcelona shirt, winning the treble and scoring 39 goals in all competitions. Our third comeback hero is Andy Cole. There's an old saying in football, the only thing worse than a broken leg is two broken legs. Although I imagine that's true in all walks of life. The prolific Andy Cole was unfortunate enough to fall victim to such a fate, courtesy of a bad tackle from Neil Ruddock during a reserve game against Liverpool, who only picked up a yellow for the reckless challenge. Incredibly, Cole was able to recover in just three months, making his way back into the Manchester United team by December and going on to finish the season on a high. His goal against Porto in the Champions League was voted the competition's best for that year and he scored a title deciding goal at Anfield, where his horror injury took place just months earlier. Not only did Cole recover, the following season was his finest for the club as he scored 25 goals in all competitions. Nowadays Cole is on a different path to recovery, having underwent a kidney transplant in April. Up next we've got Thiago Silva. Not all injuries occur on the football pitch, and while this is more of an illness than an injury, Thiago Silva's road to recovery is a sensational one. The Brazilian centre-half joined Porto in 2004 for 2.5 million euros, spending a year in the reserves before heading on loan to Dynamo Moscow. During his time in Russia, Silva suffered from various ailments such as a cough and a constant temperature, which was eventually diagnosed as tuberculosis and he was hospitalised for six months to cure the illness. Had his admission to hospital been delayed by just two weeks, then doctors claimed Silva could have lost his life. He would prematurely retire from football before being convinced to return to the game by his mother. In 2006, Silva joined Fluminense as he began his road back to the top and he has since won league titles with both AC Milan and PSG. Next we've got a goalkeeper, Petr Cech. Although outfield players get injured far more frequently, bravery is one of the most important attributes needed for a world class goalkeeper. If Petr Cech's outstanding ability to marshal the goal was in any doubt during his first couple of seasons at Stamford Bridge, then the way he put his body on the line in that famous game against Reading would have silenced any doubters. Cech suffered a depressed skull fracture which doctors claim could have cost him his life in a clash with Irish forward Stephen Hunt. In the end, it only cost him three months on the sidelines before he resumed his duties as Chelsea's number one. The injury might have left him shaken, but by the time he left Chelsea some nine years later, he had established a goalkeeping record at the club which will take some beating, with 228 clean sheets to his name in 11 years, and Cech has worn a protective helmet ever since his injury. And finally we've got Ronaldo. Ronaldo had some rotten luck as a player before he was dubbed the Fat Ronaldo. His incredible talent was matched by the number of serious injuries he faced during his time as a professional. 
A series of horrific knee injuries plagued him after his historic transfer to Inter Milan in 1997, with the Brazilian missing the entirety of the 2000-2001 season and hardly playing for the club in the first half of 2002. With 2002 being a World Cup year, plenty of people probably thought Ronaldo and Brazil were cursed. Four years earlier on the day of the 1998 World Cup final, he suffered a bizarre seizure which should have kept him from playing, but instead the striker started the game as France beat the Samba Stars in the final in Paris. Only the most optimistic of football fans would have expected Ronaldo to be at the top of his game going into the 2002 tournament, and his world-beating performances in the competition has to be counted as one of the greatest acts of resilience the world of football has ever seen. Winning the golden boot, scoring twice in the final, and winning the whole damn thing, the only thing Ronaldo got wrong in South Korea and Japan was his haircut. So those are 6 players who bounced back from horrific injuries, let us know of any more in the comments below, and don't forget to like, share and subscribe.